Hi guys, this is Tell, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make these super cute glass gem pendants. You can put these on necklaces, magnets, or even make a bunch for your keychain. And these are amazing for gifts because they can be made for less than $2 a piece. And I also made a few using scotch tape, which I'll include a time lapse of me making one. Materials you'll need are scissors or an X-Acto knife, a pen or pencil, I'm using this duct tape rounded rose pen that I made, also, you'll be needing a paintbrush, some Mod Podge. I got this 16 ounce at Hobby Lobby for $7.99, some E6000 glue and some kind of applicator, a glass gem, which also can be found at Hobby Lobby in a two pound bag. I'll be putting mine on a pendant, so just make sure that the pendant um, is completely covered by the gem. So this is the pendant I'm talking about. It's called a bail plate, and this is what it looks like out of the package. Just make sure the gem completely covers it. And like I said, I'm putting it on a necklace, so you'll need some kind of chain. And lastly, you'll need some kind of image to be showing through the glass gem. So I'm choosing mine from this crafty magazine. So once you've found your image, it can be from scrapbook paper, a book, newspaper, uh, just about anything. I folded my pages back because I only wanted to be cutting through one page. I didn't want all these cuts in my magazine. So using your bail plate as a guide, trace around it on whatever image you want to be showing through the gem. Now, once you've done that, take your scissors or your X-Acto knife and basically just cut out the image. I used the X-Acto knife because I didn't want to use scissors and have all these cuts in my magazine. So, this is what your little image should look like now. Second, dip your paintbrush into some Mod Podge and apply directly to the bill plate. Make sure you're using the flat side. And after that, just put your image directly on top. And I would suggest waiting about 30 to 45 minutes uh, for it to dry before trimming the excess off of the back. My image was a little bit too big, but that's okay. You can just trim. Now, take some E6000 glue, put a little bit on your applicator, and just spread around directly on top. Next, take your gem, make sure you're using the flat side, and place directly on top. Put some pressure to get rid of any air bubbles. So this is what it should look like on a necklace. Turned out super, super cute. So now I'm basically going to show you how to make one using duct tape. This is the uh, Starstruck Scotch duct tape. Now I find that this one, as well as the Prince, uh, what is it called, Paisley Princess or Princess Paisley, I don't remember. Uh, these two work really well because the images are really small and um, it covers the bail plate completely so and since um, the duct tape has adhesive on the back you can totally skip the Mod Podge part and just directly place it on top and make sure you trim around the edges if there's any excess now take some E6000 glue and just spread a little bit on top and place the gem directly on top and you have this super cute glass gem with using duct tape so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was really fun to make and these are so easy to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it, so please comment, rate, and subscribe.